In this video, we will demonstrate how to install a Clearline SSF 3mm Spider Breakout Kit onto SSF 3mm Micro Distribution Cable. Clearline SSF Spider Breakout Kits build up the 250 micron optical fibers located in SSF Micro Distribution Type jacketed fiber cables prior to termination. Here are the tools you'll need for this project. Fiber optic strippers, fiber optic cutting shears, cutting pliers, a ruler, tape, and a marker. Step 1. Using the appropriate kit for your cable strand count, slide the included nut and grommet strain relief boot onto the cable. Measure the tubing down the length of the cable and from this point place a mark 6 inches from the end of the tubing Using the stripper's 2mm opening, remove the jacket at this point so that the stripped length of the exposed fiber is equal to the breakout tubing and assembly plus 6 inches or 15 centimeters. Working on a flat surface with an edge, tape down the cable with tape. Separate aramid yarns from fiber and cut yarns approximately 6 inches or 15 centimeters from the end of the jacket. Slide the housing over the exposed fibers. Place fibers 1 through 6 all on one side of housing for a 6 fiber kit and place fibers 7 through 12 on the other side if installing a 12 fiber kit. Slide the grommet strain relief and nut forward on the jacket and position end of cable jacket even with the slits in the grommet strain boot. Position aramid yarns through one of the slits in the boot and hold yarns firmly back along the cable jacket. Bring the housing forward and tighten one full turn to lock in the yarns. Cut yarns closely to housing and tighten until secure. Working on a flat surface with an edge, tape down the housing assembly so that the end of the housing is approximately 2 inches or 50 millimeters from the edge surface, draping the fibers over the edge and fibers 1 through 6 are positioned upwards.
Tape the insert block section of the forcation tube assembly to the edge of the work surface so the tubes hang down to the floor. Untangle the fibers so that each can be separated back to the point where they exit the housing. Insert the first fiber through the matching colored frication tube in the block until the fiber exits the far end of the tubing towards the floor. Ensure the fibers are not twisted around each other as they enter the block as this may cause micro bends and result in attenuation loss. Repeat this process for each of the remaining fibers. If installing a 12 fiber kit, remove tape from housing, rotate housing 180 degrees, and tape down again. Remove the block frication tube assembly from the edge of the work surface. Grabbing all fibers on the far end, slide the assembly towards the housing and insert block into place on the housing. Also, tape colored block tube assembly for fibers 7 through 12 to the edge of the work surface and repeat the process of inserting fibers and placing block frication tube assembly into housing. With notches forward towards frication tubing, slide the outer shell over the tubing and onto the housing. Align the notches and screw holes in the housing and shell. Insert the two screws and tighten. And that completes the project. For connector termination or for more information, visit the technical resource page at clearlinefiber.com.